Though it's changed over the years, Brixton since the 50s has traditionally been associated with people of the Caribbean. Is the place for me. 70 years ago, the Empire Windrush docked at Tilbury. Those 492 West Indians were some of the pioneers of multicultural London. London is the place for me. The early settlers often faced prejudice, but they were followed by many more who still contend with an entirely different climate. Understandably, they've clung to the traditions and comforts of home. We have managed to embrace our cultural history. Um, we've taken it with us, we've lived it, and we are sharing it with others. Our treats were so filled with love and authentic flavors that our queue was extremely lengthy. We rocked down to Electric Avenue, as Eddie Grant would have said, you know. The Caribbean islands have always been remarkably diverse, populated by colonial Europeans, Africans brought by the slave trade, and indigenous tribes such as the Caribs and Arawaks. We found two intriguing artefacts that tell the story of those civilizations. So over to the West India Committee in Westminster and its chief executive, Blondell Clough. In my hands, I have one of my favorite items from the West India Committee collection. This is a zemi, uh, which is a very small stone artifact depicting the principal god of the Arawaks. What we have here is a sample of the fabric known as Toile de Jure. Um, it was first designed in the 1700s uh, and is very popular even today. Uh, what many of us don't realize, although we have it in our homes, is that it was invented as a form of currency. Uh, with which Europeans traded with African slavers. Filling our galleries and museums, humble objects that tell a human history of the people that make up our city.